In Shoah Robert Town of North Shoah Zone of Amhara Region, residents said that a serious conflict took place between government forces and Fano militants, in which human lives were lost. Yesterday, Sunday, March 2024, in Shoah Robert City, which is 220 kilometers northeast of Addis Ababa. What ensued was heavy fighting that lasted for hours. Four residents of the city, who asked not to be named for their safety, said that the fight, which started at around seven o'clock in the afternoon, lasted until around four o'clock in the evening. Residents also pointed out that in the fight between the security forces and local Fano militants in Shoah Robot, the sound of heavy weapons was heard. A resident of Shawa Robot said about the fight, the shooting was very disturbing and caused a serious threat, so everyone stayed at home. There was fighting all over the city, he said, describing the long hours of fighting. Another resident who said that the fighting started after Fano's militants entered the city, explained that there were clashes in most areas of the city. All the four residents said that the fighting that put the residents of the city in serious danger was in the area of 03, Care, Addis Ababa, Exit, Madaya, Sefer, Rasa Route, Deza Route Exit, and the city centre. He said there was heavy fighting that lasted for long hours, especially in areas such as the police station and areas where government security forces are said to be present. Residents said the conflict that started on Sunday afternoon was a big war. Around 2 p.m., Fano's gunmen entered and took control of most of the city, doing whatever they want, he told the BBC. After the heavy shooting ended on Sunday night, the residents said that they heard occasional gunshots on Monday morning and stated that the government forces have been conducting village-to-village -village exploration with patrols since dawn, indicating that there has been a threat to the residents. We closed the house and said to sit down. Threatens, we are very scared. On the day of the killing of the officers, there was an unbelievable beating on innocent people who knew nothing, said the resident. The clashes in the city were so intense that residents said it was difficult to say for sure about the damage other than hearing the terrible gunfire from inside their homes. One of the residents that BBC spoke to said that only three people they knew were killed and that there may be others killed and indicated that they believe that quite a few people were killed in the fighting. One is a cart driver, one is a driver and one is a villager. Many people have died, said the resident, adding that they know that one resident was killed by security forces. One is the Manhara area. He is a driver. One area of the courthouse where the strikers are is the house. One of them fell on the road and was found. Said that they know the identity of the deceased. Another resident of the city who said that they confirmed that two people were killed in the area called Kori Madea from their friends said, I heard that there are civilians who died in the area of the city called Manahiria. A resident told the BBC that three people were found dead in a market called Gulit, and one person was found near Manahiria Gomista. He pointed out that the death toll could be higher because it is scary to leave the house. The resident said that a day labourer and a driver were among the dead. They said that they were killed by gunshots and that their burials were held at Mariam and Michael churches in the city on Monday stating that today there are no cart and badger activities in the city, which are widely used for transportation. No one moves on the road. Only a brave person goes out, he said about the activities in the city. A resident who said that the shooting started around 4 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. He said Farno's gunmen had taken the government cabinet members they wanted. Residents said in the early hours of the morning that the city was out of action following the fighting. And they also indicated that occasional gunshots could be heard. A resident who said that Shawa Robert was under tension 
following the clashes between the defence and Fano forces in various areas of the Amhara region last week. The condition of the city was not good, he said. Residents said last week that the city's police chief and head of peace and security were killed by Fano militants and that the government forces had severely beaten the residents, leaving Shawa Robert under threat. Every time the lanterns come and deliver something, it's a threat. It's a runaway. It's a stick, he said, describing the feeling of intimidation among the residents of Shower Road. The transportation restrictions were imposed a week ago due to security concerns in the major cities in the eastern Amhara region, including the city of Shower Road and the North Shower Zone. The central Shower Command Post, which is Activities of the Fano militants in the region are beyond their control. A state of emergency has been declared and defence forces have been deployed.